Stephen, the team have travelled to Leipzig today for another big game tomorrow. How are the boys looking forward to it? Yeah, they're in a good place. You know, they're, they're, they're looking forward to the game, um, especially coming off a good result um, at the weekend. Albeit it wasn't one of our better performances that we've had during the season. Um, but these are the games that the boys really look forward to. They're, they're, they don't come around too often with regards to in the last few years for them. So. Um, come to experience top European opposition so that we can challenge the boys to see where they're at um, and it's like games that they, they, they really look forward to. In Leipzig's youth team come into the fixture having drawn one each against Real Madrid. And what kind of test are you expecting from them tomorrow? They'll be very similar to how their first team play. Um, high energy, high level intensity, real, real good footballers, especially with the ball, but they work really very hard without the ball. So it's going to be a different test for us than the games that we've faced so far. But that's the whole purpose of these games for us as a club. Like I say, it gets to see the young players where they're at, at what stage they're at in their career. Um, we don't get these kind of tests domestically. Um, it's a different, it's a completely different game that you play when, when you play European football. So at this stage in the boys' development, it's, it's a tremendous experience for them and, and one that, 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 that they're looking forward to. And you touched on it at the start, but a number of these boys were involved in the in the 4-3 four win, four, win over Galafaradine at the weekend and you spoke after the game about the performance levels not being quite up to, to standard. Yeah. What type of performance are you looking for the boys this time out? We've got a certain style of play that, that we've kind of stuck to that's, that, that's, that's, that can get challenging at times for the boys because it's so demanding. Um, but it's something that we believe in. We believe in fully. The manager was played a big part in it last season. Obviously, with, it, with how well the first team performed, um, and again we've tried to replicate that the best way we possibly can. We know it's going to be obviously be difficult, but we just felt we kind of went away for that slightly at the game at the, at, at the weekend. So, in, in big games like this, this is a, a brilliant opportunity to showcase the levels that the boys are at and, and again if they believe in, in this, the type of football that we're trying to play it takes a lot of courage, they need to be brave but this is the best kind of game so they can you can challenge yourself on it. And it was a defeat against Shakhtar in the end in Warsaw a few weeks ago but a really positive performance and, and mood from the camp afterwards. What do you think the boys have to add to that game to, to get the result? I think the biggest thing that certainly when, when you play in European football it's, it's almost the belief that the boys uh, get from this, you know, when you've whether it's a first team level, it might be the first Champions League game that, 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 that they play in, whether it's under 19 level, you know, there's always that little bit of hesitation that's, that's in a player's mind. So when you then step onto the pitch, you realise that it's it's maybe not as high a level as, 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 as what you thought it would be, and that's because we've got good players, we've got good players within our group as well. So they've now tasted both games, obviously at home to Real Madrid away to Shakhtar the nest, so they know that the that what the level is, but they also now know that they're good enough to play at this level. Um, so they need to then, they'll, they'll play with full of confidence and, and they'll, be, they'll be giving it their best shot tomorrow, like they always do. Definitely, and, and we've touched on it before, but it is just such a great learning experience for the boys, especially considering this team has the youngest average age in, in the youth league yeah. this year. Yeah, as in, and, and like I say, we've, it's this group of boys have, have been together for a long period of time but they're really starting to develop. And I would say in the last six months, they've, they've really bought into everything that, that, that myself and Darren are trying to then implement. Um, there's a real togetherness within the group and you can see that in the performances. The flip side of that now is, can we then turn the really good performance that we had against Shakhtar, can we now turn into points? Um, and that's a big thing. Um, the next stage of their development, you want to then play in teams that win. And the best way for us to win is to try and implement the style of play that we try and, that we try and create. And it also gives you the best chance to win the game. So we know it's going to be a really difficult game tomorrow, but, but it's one, like I said, that the boys really believe and we believe as a staff that we can go and perform very well.